Thank you very much, um, Mr. Mayor. And I want to thank our city attorney, Mike Fuhrer, and our California Attorney General, Javier Becerra, for reaching this historic settlement. This is a positive first step, and I say first step, in mitigating the fallout for what was the largest gas blowout in U.S. history. I think a lot of the points that were made about the settlement have already been, been made. Um, but I'd like to let folks know that the story is far from over. It doesn't stop here. As the council member that represents the nearly 20,000 residents that were displaced, moved out of their homes during this environmental disaster and the thousands more that were affected, people had to leave their homes and stay away for several months. Over the holiday seasons, and no less, the children had to find new schools. Two schools were shut down. Four parks were shut down. Businesses were closed. The place for months in the northwest San Fernando Valley looked like a ghost town. In short, things were uncertain. So we must ensure that this never happens again. While the settlement is a start, and to this point I emphasize that the $25 million dollars for a significant health study and ongoing fence line monitor monitoring of the air quality is critically important. I will not stop demanding accountability from this utility and from others, the regulators, with the ultimate goal of permanently closing down this facility once and for all. The closure of Aliso Canyon within 10 years is the stated policy, according to a letter from Governor Brown to the state's uh, energy commission that dates to July 19th of last year. So the clock has already started. As a council member and a resident whose family and neighbors were deeply affected by this leak, I will continue to demand that we achieve full closure by the deadline, if not sooner. So I want to thank everybody here today. I know a lot has to be done to continue to make sure that we reach the goals in this settlement, that we make sure that not only we have the funding in place for the health study, but it's done effectively, it's done independently, it's done efficiently, it's done transparently, and that information is shared continuously. The health monitoring of the air is critically important. We need, at best, near real-time information, but it's got to be on the web, transparent and real-time, to share with people in case of a leak until we close this down. We need to share that information uh, with everyone and make it accessible. Uh, to make sure that we know what's happening in our own backyard. And so I want to thank you again and turn this back over to our Attorney General, Javier Becerra. And I think Mike wanted yeah. to uh, thank his, some of his team. Yeah, I <laughs> omitted something that is 